a Bitcoin ETF will never be your Bitcoin. Bitcoin ETFs give investors exposure to price movements but not to the financial ownership and sovereignty that makes crypto different from other financial assets, says Pascal Gauthier, chairman and CEO at Ledger. By Pascal Gauthier, Feb 2, 2024 at 5.38 p.m. Arc updated February 2, 2024 at 5.44 p.m. Arc B. Pascal Gauthier, Feb 2. 2024 at 5.38 p.m. Arc updated February 2, 2024 at 5.44 p.m. Arc B. Pascal Gautier Feb 2, 2024 at 5.38 p.m. Arc updated February 2, 2024 at 5.44 p.m. Utes in recent weeks, newly approved U.S. Bitcoin ETFs have had stunningly popular launches, judged by trading volume and flow metrics. However, these ETFs have nothing to do with the true utility of Bitcoin which is to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer transactions and circumvent traditional intermediaries. Bitcoin ETF investors merely get exposure to the price of Bitcoin. They never own the asset. ETF participants don't benefit from what Bitcoin stands for in the first place, which is to allow anyone to experience financial ownership and sovereignty. This is precisely what Bitcoin's anonymous inventor Satoshi Nakamoto aimed for when writing the Bitcoin white paper 15 years ago. The main problem with Bitcoin ETFs is that they merely replicate the functioning of our outdated financial system built on old technologies. By relying on intermediaries, Bitcoin ETFs reintroduce counterparty risks that have underpinned finance for decades. Take Lehman Brothers, and more recently FTX or Silicon Valley Bank. These are just a few examples of traditional players mismanaging their clients' assets and wiping out billions. If follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.